Alrighty, uh, so in this example, we're going to be graphing f of x equals the greatest integer of x. That's what we're graphing right here, and that's what this notation means, the greatest integer of x. And uh, just a slight reminder, the greatest integer of any number means that whatever our um, input is right here, we're always going to round down to the nearest integer. So just a few examples, the greatest integer of 1.1 would be 1, because the greatest integer that you round down from 1.1 would be 1. The greatest integer of 1.5 uh, would be 1 again. The greatest integer of 1.99 would also be 1. And even 1.999999, it's always going to be 1 right here. All right. So, so what does this graph look like? And so this is also known as also almost like a step function in a way where um, if we start right here, even if you want to start plugging in, you know, uh, uh, these points right here, like 1.1. If I plug in 1.1, my y value is one, right? And then if I plug in 1.5, I get one. If I plug in 1.999, I get one. The thing is that I should never hit the the x value of two, and and if I do, uh, what's going to happen is that if I do the absolute value, not the absolute value, if I do the the greatest integer of two. That's going to give us two right there. So actually, it just kind of jumps up here, and then it's going to kind of go like this again, and then it's going to jump back up, and so forth. But, but one thing that we have to understand though is that th this line right here goes, but then we're going to want to put an open circle right here. The reason for that is that because if we don't, it looks like it actually hits it. The graph could be very misleading. So what we want to do is that we want to make these a solid. And, and then when they go across, it's going to become an open circle. So solid and then open circle. So these ones are solid. And we know that because if you take the, the greatest integer of 2, it is 2. The greatest integer of 3 is 3. But it's not 2 and 3, right? The greatest integer of 3 is not 2 and 3. So that's why we put an open circle there. So we're not um, having our graph to be misleading right there. So you know, if you, if you continue this pattern, you can go ahead and uh, do that there. But um, it kind of does that all the way down through. So not, not bad right there. 